given a lesson. So um, backing up, we remember Babylon conquered Judah. And they were, Judah was in captivity and Daniel was there um, to the king, uh, chief aide to the king during his whole time. Um, then Persia and Media took over uh, Babylon and Daniel was again one of the chief people uh, to the king. That king was Cyrus. And Cyrus died. We think he probably only ruled about two years. Um, and we don't know exactly why he died, if he died in battle or through suspicious circumstances. We don't quite have the records deciphered yet um, from Persia. And the Bible doesn't tell us what happened to Cyrus. He just disappears. <coughs> um, while he was ruling, though, he gave command for everyone to go back to their homeland. And specifically, he told the Jews they could go back to Israel and they could rebuild Jerusalem, they could rebuild their country, they rebuilt the wall around, they rebuilt the temple. Um, their neighbors didn't like that and gave them a hard time over it, but it got done. It took a long time, but they, it got done. While that was going on, King Ahasuerus uh, was in charge. He was we probably, Cyrus's brother-in-law. And so when Cyrus died, um, Ahasuerus took over. And he was actually, uh, Mede, the Medes and the Persians were partners together, and so they would take turns on who the chief king was. And so first the Persian king was the head king, and then the, uh, the Mede, Pers Mede king was the head king, and they'd take turns. Um, Cyrus was the king of Persia, and he was the head king. When he di died, ah Ahasuerus became the head king, and he was king of uh, the Medes. Cyrus's son died in battle in Egypt and never became, really became a king at all. So uh, that's kind of where the Persian Empire blended into the Mede Empire, and they became one uh, under Ahasuerus for those interested in politics. Ahasuerus threw a great big party. And there was unlimited wine to drink. There was food. Everything was great. Um, and he had all his nobles and all his chief people there at his party. And his queen, whose name was Vashti, had a party for the ladies in a different place. At the time, the party lasted half a year. It was a big party. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I'm not required to go to parties that last that long. I don't think I have the stamina, especially today. Um, in, somewhere in the middle of this party, Ahasuerus sent a message to Vashti and commanded her to come to the men's party so everyone could see how pretty she was. Vashti told him no. She said, I'm not coming. We don't know why she told him no. We don't know exactly the circumstances, or, and I won't go into some of the speculations because we don't know why she said no, but she said no. So he got mad, and he removed her from being queen. She's not queen anymore. And this presented a problem because they were supposed to have a queen of the country. So when the party was over, the king got to thinking, okay, what do I need to do about this? So his men, his counselors said, what you're going to do, let's have a beauty pageant. And we'll get all the prettiest girls in the kingdom, and you'll marry all of them, and you'll pick the one you like the best will be the queen. Well, Ahasuerus liked this idea. So they had a beauty pageant. Meanwhile, there were still Jews living in uh, the capital city, uh, Susa was the capital city, and, and the people were, the, there were still Jews living there. Uh, one of the Jews that lived there was named Mordecai, and he had a cousin who had been orphaned at a young age, and he had raised her as if she was his daughter, and her name was Esther, and she was very pretty. So when they gathered up all the prettiest women in the kingdom, Esther was one of them 
that they gathered and took to the king's palace. Mordecai told her, don't tell anybody that you're a Jew. Just, I got a feeling you need to not tell anybody. So she didn't. And it, they had to spend a year having beauty treatments before they would go meet the king. So she spent a year with her beauty treatments. Um, she went to meet the king. And the Bible says of all the many, 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 many women, he liked Esther the best. She was just his favorite. He just, he fell in love with her. He crowned her as the queen of the entire empire. But she still didn't tell him she was a Jew. Mordecai got a job working as a gatekeeper for the palace. So he was right there, and every day she'd go out and talk to him, and, and they'd keep up on what's going on in each other's lives. So God put her in this special place. And we know God put her there because of next week's story. So I'm going to leave it there because it would take too long to go into the rest of the story. Let's sing a song. <coughs> Maybe. Okay. Deep and wide. 